Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. It feels like way more than two days since I last recorded an episode. Uh, I know I put one out yesterday, but that was recorded on Friday, so it feels like it's been a long time for me, but it hasn't. So, anyway, it, it, it's good to be back. I'm glad to be back here recording, building some coasters. Um... So I just had a little accident. Um, I'm not so great at this whole recording thing. And by that, I mean, I forget to hit the record button sometimes. So I just spent the last 30 or so minutes recording an episode. And all I got is my audio because I didn't hit record on OBS. So I had no video. So here's for take two. Um... <laughs> So one of the only things we have left to build here is our lovely swinging ship. Um, how are we going to do this? Let's do a footpath. Nope, we need to do yellow. I am not that rusty. I should not be making those mistakes. We're going to snake that around here. And then dirt path, we'll do this. Crap, I can't build there. Um, goodbye, palm tree. Okay, uh, we're gonna make this a dollar. I don't really know how exciting it is. I never really do. A uh, dollar sounds good. Open, and then we need to give it a name that's slightly more exciting than Swinging Ship One. We will name it. Um, there's nothing really desert themed. That is boat out of water. <laughs> Kind of like fish out of water. I don't know. But there's no water here, and it's a ship in the middle of the desert, so I think it's fitting. Okay, what else do we have to build that we have not built yet? Um, so I think we got the chairlift uh, last episode. I don't think I remember seeing that pop up, but it did, and here it is. Um, I don't plan on building any transportation rides, uh, especially on this park. It's not big enough to really need it. People can just walk from one side to the other. Um, I'll get into those transport rides uh, when we get to the bigger parks where it becomes a little bit more necessary. Um, so these are gentle rides. We've built all of these. We haven't built a wooden coaster. This one was pre-built, a mine train roller coaster, and then the suspended roller coaster. We can build either of those. Uh, we have a log flume, which we haven't built yet, and then we built all of our shops and stalls. So, as we take people's money, I am debating what to do, and did we just unlock this while looking at it? Yes, we did. Fry stall. Okay, let's build that first. Oh, I have to click build this. Okay. Uh, one thing I love about this game is all the stall designs. They all look exactly like what they are. The burger stall is a hamburger. The popsicle stand or ice cream stand that sells ice creams, according to the description, is composed of popsicles and ice cream cones. And the fries is a french fry with arms and legs standing on top of the roof. He kind of reminds me of Gumby, if any of you guys have any idea who Gumby is. He was a green, kind of rubberized stick man who could contort himself in all types of ways. Um, so that's kind of what I think of whenever I see this little fry dude. He's like a yellow version of Gumby. Um, 150, check. I don't have to check this since it's the default price. If I changed it and I wanted it to stay the same, I could check it. But the OCD in me wants to check it because I have been doing it on all my other stalls. So I'm going to keep doing it. Fry stall one is now open. And let's go ahead and build another one at our uh, food court. Just so we can have... I just lost my train of thought there. Just so we can have uh, one of all of our stalls in both locations. So again, since I checked it, it's 150. Or if I didn't check it, it would still be 150. This area is kind of disgusting. Um... Let's hire another handyman just for this area. Should probably do this more for different areas. Keep them in the same spot so they're not all being unproductive in the same area. Uh, but anyway, there's our handyman. Okay, so this ride is still doing very nice. 
Um, I don't know what I was really thinking when I did the color scheme for this. I come back after two days of not playing or not recording. I come back, I take a look at it, and it's kind of gross looking. So we're going to actually change up the colors a little bit. A little darker, a little less lime green. And then I had an idea, like, immediately after I stopped recording last episode, is that if we're cactus theming this, they don't have them on the cacti themselves, but I think it'd be cool. If you've ever seen a cactus, there's flowers on them that are usually kind of a pink and white. I think that would be kind of cool to treat the cars as the, the flowers on the cactus. So, train one will be that light pink. I'm going to do all the seats green, I think. So that light pink, a hot pink with green seats, and then um, there's really no purple cacti flowers, cactus flowers, but I think I've seen white ones before, so we'll do white. I think that looks a little nicer. Feel free to disagree. I have been wrong plenty of times before. And I'm sure I will continue to be wrong in the future. So, um, I know that's not what you want to hear from a slightly tutorial-based LP. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so what else do we have to build? Um, I'm going to build a log flume. There is no water in this park other than the rain that we found out exists. So, we're going we're gonna to do that. And I built a pretty, pretty successful one last recording, which got not recorded so uh, we're gonna try to do that again but we might tweak it and we might I don't know we'll see what happens it's probably gonna be a lot different um, last time we built it in this general area we're gonna do something different we're gonna build it over here I don't know how this is gonna end up but um, sure one two three four five six seven and for this, I want to do something new. Uh, I know we built a log flume before, but this is going to be a little different. And by that, I mean we're going to build two of them at the same time. Which, you can basically say goodbye to your screen real estate, because I'm going to have every menu open at the same time. Or two of every menu open at the same time. And you're not going to be able to see much, so I'm apologizing in advance. Um... Before I continue much further on this, let me just show you this real quick. So if you go into the, um, what is this tab? Ride Attraction Operation Options. The Operation Options tab, there's a box which you can check to synchronize with adjacent stations. So it says that little tooltip that popped up. What did it say? Select whether to synchronize departure with all adjacent stations for racing. Um, so whenever you do this, the cars, or in this case, oops, boats or log flume boats um, will not depart the station until there is another boat at the adjacent station that has also met its requirements uh, to leave. And by that, I mean it's waiting for a full load. So once it has a full load, the other ride also has to have a full load. Once they're both full, then both of them will launch at the same exact time. And I'm going to attempt to make them... Uh, end up at the same or be about the same length um, I'm not going to do complete mirror images of each other so that's probably not going to happen but I'm going to try and that's all you can hope for right You all you can do is try right okay so that one I did a curve another curve and a single bit there since this elevation is slightly lower on this uh, tile here than it is over here so we'll go out one We'll go down to three, sure. And then we'll go over. And then we'll curve around the track there. I'm planning on putting the entrance at the front like normal, so I want to make sure I leave space for that. Actually, do I want to do that? No, I don't. I want to do, make it go here and I want to I want to hug that entrance I want it to go over the entrance why I can't tell you but I, I, I want to so that's good enough reason right there right okay and so this is what I'm talking about with the menus you go back and forth between the two of them and then 
both of these keep popping up and they just get annoying to X out of. So I leave them and we work with this very narrow window. So sorry in advance. That's what we're working with. Okay, so that's at height 11. I need to drop this to 9. And then we'll go over. Ooh, your park has received an award for being the tidiest park in the country. And we got a little ribbon. How pretty. I don't honestly know what that does. I think it improves your uh, your park rating. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking it does. I don't know what else it would do. Um, is my game audio? Oh, okay. I'm over here in the nothingness area of my park, and you can hear the difference between this and this. Quite a bit different. <laughs> So that's a good sign that we will be adding music to this ride to spruce up this area because, oh my goodness, this is nice and dead. Um, okay, so where are we at? These are getting so annoying. Okay, uh, so we went up, we curved, we dropped. Both of them are now on the same level. Or they will be. Okay, so they're both on the same level. I don't know how long each of these is. I'm going to try to keep them the same, like I said, but I can already tell we're not off to the greatest start there. Um, okay, so we'll go down. No, I want to keep this up. I'm, my pathway is probably going to loop somewhere underneath this. So, and I need to connect this back up to, wait, no. This is the one that came from, I need to connect this one to the one on the left here. So crap, oops. Um, that changes my thought process here. Uh, we're going to have to go underground with these, I think. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to dip underground here. And again, I'm going to keep them just at the normal, or I don't mean normal. I'm going to keep them at the bare minimum of undergroundness. So we go there. What tile are we at? It's always so, so hard for me to see. I think we're right here these three so that puts me one off so if I do that and then it, no I need more room than that we'll go this way do that and do an S bend to the left and if I start going up here that should no I'm still on the wrong I'm still trying to get to the, the wrong one oops so I need to go straight one and then turn and then we'll do the S bend to the left start coming up here and I might be able to add another piece of station which would be nice if I can pull that off oh I totally can it's happening okay so that's one done um, I probably should have built these more in tandem with each other oh well uh, so now we're gonna try to finish the second one which I don't even know which one's log foam one and which one's log foam two so this one we're going to... I can't go over top that. Well, yes, I can, but then... Okay, we're going to see how this goes. Um, so I need to go... Back that off one. Curve that. Go straight over top of this station, because I'm going to try and make that station as well. We'll see if we can drop it. That's not going to work. So we need to back it off even more. Is this going to be in the way? Oops. Yes, it's still in the way. Can I start dropping it over top of this? Yes, I can. Okay, that's that's our game plan. Which means our pathway is going to have to go underground here. But that's okay. Okay, so this needs to end up right there. But I want it to go kind of... I don't know what I'm doing right now. We'll find out shortly, I guess. <laughs> like I said, I don't have a plan when I build. I just kind of go for it, so... Oh, does this one need to be even lower to cross this? Yeah, it does. Okay, so this is going down two more. And we're going to curve back here. The hard part with this is, even though I can see what tile it is above ground, I have no idea where I line up with it underground, so... See, I'm, I thought I was going to run into it. I'm already past it, so.
I don't know if this is where I need to be. Oh, it is. That's beautiful. Is this the same slope too? Did I just do that perfectly? Oh, I totally did. I'm proud of myself right now. I couldn't see half of what I was doing. <laughs> okay, let's get the entrance and exit going. Oh, it's for this one. Okay, so we'll do the entrance up front again, like always. We'll do the exit at the back. And that's it for Logfoom 2. And for Logfoom 1, we still need an entrance and exit. And we will do a mirror image of that, assuming I built the track at the right heights, which I did. Go me. Okay, let's, let's give these a test. Actually, I think I need to check that box first. Or I guess second, since I already tested it. Actually, we'll just leave it continually testing. Why not? I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Uh, why are they not... Why are they not synchronized? Um, I'm going to close both of them down real quick and then start them up at the same time or as close as I can. And test, test, and close, close. Did that work? Did they still not go? Maybe it doesn't work when they're testing. Maybe it only works when it's open. I don't know. But one thing I forgot to mention, the nice thing about doing this, uh, kind of the dual launch or the dual stations next to each other, is if, if, if you guys remember last episode when I built the, uh, the cactus cruiser, it was, it ended up improving the excitement of this not so exciting uh, desert truck and car ride. It upped the excitement by I think 0.2, 0.18, not a ton, 0.2, let's go with 0.2. It didn't do a ton, but it helped. Um, and I think if the more you loop them together or intertwine them together, uh, the more exciting it can be. We just got bumper cars. Oh yeah, that's a that's a fun one. It comes with some really cool default music. We'll get that going later. Uh, probably not this episode because this is gonna take me a little bit to figure out. I say that after we already built it, but still, we still have pathways to work out. Gotta get our mechanics hired. We gotta make sure it's actually fun. I'm kind of worried that it's not, but you know, this game is nothing but trial and error unless you're really really good at it, which. I don't know. I don't claim to be really good at it, but... Okay. We're going to have to go underground here. Just by one tile, I think. Well, actually... I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm hoping I'm doing it right. And I am. Okay, so if we drop that, please don't be track underneath. Oh, it works. The reason I'm dropping the edges here, as you can see on this side, or... It's obscured, but you get the idea. It still lays flat on the ground. It just looks like dirt on the ground. If I do, if I drop it down entirely and go up, it adds those like support tiles, and I don't want that. Um, so let me. Oh, can I even? Oh, I gotta change my view. Oh, this is a horrible angle to do this. I can't see what I'm doing. I think that's it. It is. Okay, and so that's going to be this side. And now we need to get it up and over, so. That's the up, this is the over. Okay. I really like, I mean, I wish... I had done more now that I'm looking at it, but I like how much these kind of zigzag across each other. Kind of, they cross here, they cross there, and then I think they cross again here-ish, underground. Uh, what has happened to this line? Why is no one riding it? Oh, it's too expensive. Sorry, I'm on a tangent here. I want to make sure I'm making money. How much money did we start this with? I'm going to have to rewatch the video. I think we made money in the process of building this, <laughs> which is awesome. Okay, have these gotten test results yet back? Test results yet back? That made sense. Uh, we'll open these just to 
Well, we'll open that one. This one doesn't have a line yet. I don't want to make anyone angry. Still not yet available. What is taking so long? Whatever. We'll charge them $2 in the meantime. They're not riding for free. <gasps> that is beautiful. High excitement, low intensity, low nausea. That is amazing. I am very happy with myself. Why, are why is this guy turning around? What happened? What did he just do? Okay, I need to get this other one built so they can actually start doing the uh, the whole synchronized thing. Because that's why I built two of them. Alright, we'll drop that down there. Connect that to the exit. And we'll have this one just go... We'll make this one kind of long. We'll see what happens. Nope, I don't want that exit. It's going to connect if I do. I don't want this to go. This is going to be... I don't know why this line is so long, but it is. And the other one's like, what, half of that? A third of that? <laughs> Nothing in comparison. I might make it longer if they're super popular, but... Then again, I might not. I'm a wild card like that. <laughs> okay. This one's still not yet available. Let's go ahead and paint these while we wait. Uh, let's do... What is that color? Supports? No, I like that gray. We'll stick with gray. I think they're both gray. Yeah. Okay, so this one is brown. What is this color? This color is the outside. I don't like that. It's a little too too blue. Let's try green. Okay, I like that. It complements the water. And the brown looks like it's the, the inside of the track, I think. So we'll do this. Okay, I'm going to follow my cursor right now. Ever since I moved into my current apartment, we have had an issue with ants. There is an ant on my screen, and I am currently <laughs> following it so I can see it behind this white mouse. This is so annoying. We're moving. My roommate and I are moving because of this ant. By the way, I'm not doing that anymore. It's not a super speed ant. Um, okay, so back to not being incredibly distracted by the ant on my screen. Okay, green, tan, or gray blue wood entrance that's what we want all in the same colors yes that's fine a brown boat i like it and we'll make the other one oh this is awesome they're both very successful we just don't have anyone over here because this isn't a happening area of the park i guess so no one's on the ride um let's paint this one and then we will name them something slightly cooler than the log flume one and two i did green on the outside and that turquoise or whatever color that is. That looks green, like a light green here, but it looks kind of turquoise against that water, which I like. And then the boat, I think it was this darker brown. Yeah, okay, so now they're the same. And let's give these names. This is one and two. Um, what should we name them? Oh, okay, not super creative, but I'll go off what I said earlier. I said I really enjoyed how they zigzagged together. Two word statement, to ride, not statement, to ride thing. Zig and zag. I don't know which will be more popular, but we're gonna charge $2 each. Actually, no, we're gonna charge 250 because that's a good ride. Or at least good stats for a ride. And let's hire an entertainer. No, no, we're gonna add music I love this music it's slightly eerie but slightly awesome all at the same time it's a beautiful combination why aren't people writing this okay so when they say I can't afford it that means they don't have enough money to pay the entrance fee not that it's too expensive but that they don't have the money. Um, so if we go to guess 291, I'm charging 250 for this. How much money does this guy have? He has 50 cents in his pocket. Wow, this guy won't go on a high excitement ride? That is lame. You are lame, guest 1153. You don't even get a name. That's how lame you are. Okay, what was I saying? I was gonna hire an entertainer just for this area 
Um, we'll have them be, what don't we have yet? An elephant. Because that goes perfectly in a water area, right? Totally. Uh, so for entertainers, it's good to have them go through your line. Ooh, your park has received an award for being the safest park in the country. Thank you, mechanics, for winning me awards. Okay, so that covers all the lines and the pathways between them. So, look at that elephant. It's awesome. Uh, and then, like I said, I like having a designated mechanic for my popular rides. We'll have this one cover both because it's not a super far walk. That should cover... Nope, not that. Spin my view. That should cover everything. Wonderful. And then we're also going to put some benches around here. Some trash cans. Why do I keep hitting that for benches? I should know better by then. Know better than that by now. Um, the benches there, there. Sounds good. Or I guess looks good. The sound of benches doesn't exactly excite me, but the look of benches, maybe, maybe a little bit. Um, what was our goal? I think we have already hit our goal and we're like halfway through our objective. We needed, what, 650 with a rating of 600? Uh, let's click this to go to our front entrance. Uh, 650 by the end of year three with a park rating of at least 600. We have already met our goal. Um, that's awesome. So now we get to just kind of not coast, no pun intended, wink, wink, but, um, <laughs> oh man, my jokes are very lame. You'll learn that soon once I get a little bit more comfortable with talking to myself in my room, uh, in front of a computer screen. My jokes will get better and or worse, depending on how you want to look at it. So let's go ahead and watch this a little bit. I haven't even really watched this ride yet. We'll see if... So these two cars, or boats, are the ones that should be in sync with each other. So if we open that, we open that, we can watch these two together. So the one on top is the one on bottom. The one on bottom is the one on top. That makes sense, right? Ooh, if they... No, this guy's going to get there before this guy. I was going to say, if they go down the slope at the same time. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, well. Why is Zag so much more popular? It's got a 5.64 excitement, and this one has a... F it's... It's got worse stats. What is going on? It could just be the fact that people are walking down this path more than they're walking down this one. Again, it's a random choice which way they go. Um, I don't know. Either way, we're making the money. Oh my goodness, we got go-karts? Okay, that's the first thing we're doing next episode. That is definitely happening. Uh, last thing I want to do this episode, though, is build balloons. This is one of my favorite stalls. Um, it's just, it's amazing. It adds so much to your park, in my opinion. You're just watching everyone walk around with balloons. It's kind of like the umbrellas, except they carry them all of the time. And again, we're going to kind of stick with our yellow deserty theme here. Um, same price throughout the park. 60 cents per item sold. No, we're going to make our profit per item $1. Boom, balloon stand one is open. Buy all the balloons, everybody. Who's going to be the first? No, that guy didn't buy one. I can't really see what's going on. Come on, guys. Buy a balloon. Okay, we don't have time to wait. We're going to build another one, because I love them. One over here. Thank you for throwing up, sir. I didn't like my clean pathway. My janitor needed something to do. My, what's his name? Slacker? Did I name this guy? Slacker? No, I didn't. I did that in the last episode. I had a handyman not doing his job. This area was really messy. Named him Slacker. But that didn't get recorded, so oops. Ooh, I almost let someone buy a blue balloon. That would have been awful. Oh my goodness. Nope. Is that him? No, it's not. Oh, our balloon guy walked into the restroom. I wanted to name our first balloon purchase, but... Oh, well. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. That's going to do it for this episode. 
We've got Zig. We've got Zag. They're making us the money. I think they're all right. I like how they came out. Let's take a look underground real quick just to see our finished product. I think it's a beautiful thing. I love this synchronized adjacent station function. It makes things... I don't know. I think it's... It makes it more fun. If you've ever been on a like a, a water park or been to a water park and gone down a water slide, you always want to race your friends, right? It's so much more fun. This kind of lets them do that, except one of them's probably way faster than the other. I don't know which one, but... Yeah, they're the most definitely not even. So, okay, that'll do it for today. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, and see you then.